down here. Miracle 2 contains the whole spiritual and elastic energy beyond nature. This can be purchased through and involved as reported by me. So, this is not what we're talking about. But this is the kind of stuff you can purchase out there in the market if you're not intelligent enough to know what's actually out there. This is actually sold. It went through the Amish community pretty heavy. They were using a gallon of this per square tank, $60. When the analysis came back onto it, when the gallon analysis came back, it was Pearl shampoo and a very valuable form. So make sure that you pay attention to what you get. PowerPoint presentation put out by Dr. Bill Curran and Dwight Eubenthal of our firm of Toronto Soil Sciences from Penn State University. And it's titled What's New for Agronomic Weed Control in the Year 2012. How many of you actually are doing your own spraying in here? Okay. Uh, last year, if you weren't doing spring weed, you realized what we came up with. So, preaching mode of action. And you need to know what a mode of action is. Okay? And if we really want, we really don't have any new products out there in the market. We're just combining them what we have now. And you see further on in these slides how long it takes to get a product into the pipeline, which we can use. So <clears throat> a lot of the old chemicals, which we thought were long gone, are making a big comeback. You're, I've been in this industry for many, many years. You heard a farm, I'm a farmer also in Berks County. I do my own spray, 90% of my own spray. I've been farming there for 35 years. I, I've started spraying way back in the 60s, and I'm older than some of you guys here, but uh, we'll explain some of this and how the uh, herbicides have changed. We're going to go over corn, so we're using small grain products. This mode of action, <clears throat> earlier this year, or well, last year, it came out. When you purchase your chemicals now, you will see these things on top of the boxes and on the bottles. And what this is, is the mode of action. It's hard to understand. Right off hand, I can't tell you what a 214 herbicide is, but there is a chart. When you look at your chemicals, this is Halix GT, a very popular product made by Syngenta. It contains estrophalacor, which is built through magnets, glyphosate, which is around the phone, and these are triarum, which is cholesterol. All right, what you have right here is three different chemicals, three different active ingredients. You have three different modes of action right here. How, what, <clears throat> when I had this talk with you before one time, I asked what the mode of action is, how does the chemical work? The guy said, you put it in the spray tank, you spray it out. No, that's not right. Everything works different. Some work up through the roots, some affect the tissue, and that's what this mode of action is. Uh, some of you guys, I see some guys in my age or so, we all know what trigenes is to weeds. We, we created trigenes is to weeds back in the 1960s. When I started spraying in the 1960s, I worked for a farmer. He bought a brand new sprayer with 255 gallon metal drums, two pipe removers with a dog chain to hold them up. And what we used to spray five pounds of atrazine and a gallon of 248 on a coin. And whenever the weeds came through that, we came back with two more pounds of atrazine and a quart of diesel for it. We created trigene resistant weeds. And the reason we created trigene resistant weeds, atrazine is a photosynthesis inhibitor. It's taken in by the plants and affects the new tissue. So modes of action are very, very important so we don't develop weed resistance. <clears throat> and you'll see them on every one of these products, you'll start to see this on top. So, as I said, we're not asking you to memorize the chart or figure out what they are. But just 
Now, if you want to try something for your very self, just use that second gear. Find one. First gear, slap it. Let it on. Come back to the next gear. And then just say, where's the proportion of the narrow end as you start to shoot it to hold the stem? So, now, you don't have to worry too much about that stem until it starts to flop. So, you really want to see something. Take a sigh or a knife or whatever, weed trim. Just keep cutting them. It starts coming up with this big, this big. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Keep cutting. As it gets later in the season, remember as the sunlight and the daylight shorten, weeds translate to the root of survival of the Now this guy is not gone to seed, but he's still going to go to seed. He might only get this big to go to seed. Cut him off. Keep cutting until you get that good, hard killing crop. I mean, you know that everything's dead. All your winter, all your animals, your flower pots, everything's dead. All dead. That's, that's why I'm in the full fist of stuff, right? Year three, you'll come up to a seed by the Weeds are resistant. Their, their entire life goal is to produce seed. And if we keep using the same mode of action year after year after year after year, we're helping. That's it. <clears throat> I was the only Captain Green trying to eat this weed. We didn't know any better back in the 1960s. That's what was great. Now we're doing the same thing with the ALS problem. And we're using the same thing year after year after year. So mix up your modes of action. Okay? And your organic life is safe. Resistance right now. And a lot of that is because of the improper spraying. Everybody, everybody know how glyphosate is in is event? It is an active one. Monsanto was working on a product to develop alternate spray tank cleaner to clean out all the residues of the tank. And it found this last spray on the vegetation to kill it. You notice if you have a tank, you can spray in corn chemicals all spring. You put any wrap-up in your tank, it's a cleaner. You go over to beans, that first half acre or three quarters of an acre, maybe more, depending on what it does, is going to push out chemicals to the It's one of the ultimate tank chemicals. So there's the bell back. So <coughs> we're, we're spraying around it incorrectly and it's underrated by doing that for creating the resistance to glyphosate. And what anybody know the, the water? use your spray tank, it's far more critical than the rate of glyphosate. If you have hard water, okay, you get limestone water, come down to the ground with a pH from anywhere from 7 to 11, okay, glyphosate works best at 3.5 pH. So what do you know when you put it down here in a 10 pH? You know there's tab, it's tad effective. Now if you have any hardness in the water, Hardness in the water is measured in the cations. Positively charged on it. Magnesium, calcium, iron. Okay? Sodium. So, the harder your water, the more positive charges are in part of the lung. Glyphosate is a very negative charge. <coughs> so, you've got a tank on a spinning tank full of water, and it's hard water. You throw that glyphosate in there, it's like two cow magnets. Very negative charge, I like to say. Calcium and iron are diabetic. They carry two positive charges, very strong. So they'll suck up four to six small molecules of glyphosate right in the tank of the water. Right out on the ground it goes, in fact. So by acidifying your water mix and controlling your cations, you're getting a better controlled glyphosate. Okay? This is why we call it a lot of safe system. Because we're not spraying it. Everybody goes out, your water, my water, his water, your water. They're all different. But we all put that corn around up in, spread it extra around up, whatever, touchdown, Chinese, and we expect it to work. So I have a shell around my pH, my water is 6.5. How many of you know your water? How many know your heart is in your water? Very good. 
because now what the chemical companies do, they own the seed companies. So now they want to sell to you the seed beds. So they're not putting as much money into the chemistry as we used to have in the 60s and 70s. And this is one of the last things that we came out with was the HPPD inhibitor, which is Callisto, which is now Luminac, Lexar, Biosyn, in fact, and some of these the HPPD inhibitors. So the new mode of action is discovered today. It takes 10 years to get to the market. They're all focused on seed. They want to charge you more for that seed bag. So you see more and more, more and more resistance problems. And a lot of registration ones. One of the biggest chemicals we used to use in the fall, we used to use Princep, the active ingredient of cytosine, to spray alfalfa. You spray it on an alfalfa field, limestone soil, or shale ground properly, you have no winter end goal, or you grow chickweed, grow ten beds, or twelve beds. It's no longer allowed. The reason it's no longer allowed, the registration ran out. Cytosine is a generic product, sells for uh, $12 a gallon. It costs many million dollars to re-register that product for our job. Doesn't justify the means. So we're losing things that way. And as we get generics, the prices come down, the chemical companies don't want to reinvest. This is a chart which you can get. We used to have some, I don't have it here. It just gives you a listing of your different chemicals. It gives you your trade in, your active ingredient, and your modes of action. If you don't get anything else out of this talk today, just listen and figure out the most that. Chemicals don't all work the same. Okay? And different chemicals don't work the same. A generic and a good chemical necessarily don't work the same. One of the first major generics which we had to go was bicep. Okay? Bicep is atrazine and dual. Okay, the first bicep was atrazine and dual, it's dual AE. Now we have bicep two magnets. The only difference in that is now the top. Yeah, it's atrazine and S metallophor or dual two magnets. S metallophor is a safer metallophor. Activates with less rainfall, it's a little safer product. They don't work the same. And a generic of atrazine and dual AD is not equivalent to an, uh, a generic of atrazine and S2 magnets. So you've got to pay attention. And if you're not sure, you know what, a lot of, I worked in the industry for a while, and dealers get focused, okay? They work with Bayer, they work with DuPont, they work with Syngenta. Syngenta comes in and is going to do more than DuPont does for them, gives them more training, more rebates, more of this stuff. Well, who do you think they're going to go with? They're going to funnel with what makes them the most money. Not necessarily what's the best product, because you guys are the cheapest. That's why you need anything. Knowledge is power. The more knowledge you have, the better, the better uh, decision you can make on your herbicide choice. Mm -hmm. So, if you're not sure if this is if this is Greek to you, talk to your extension agent, your dealer, or whatever. Just remember, a lot of dealers are bots. They're going to say, "Well, we got to, we're going to, we want you to sell premium. We want you to sell multi mag. We want to sell it there." And if they keep recommending something for one particular company, whether it's, you can pretty well figure it out, Bayer, Syngenta, DuPont, or whoever, is in there. And I'll tell you something else. Most all rebates now, chemical seed industry is very, very nervous. These three companies sell seed, so the chemical companies sell it. Now it's all tied back in money. So if I'm, if I'm in that best location or a CPS location, I want to sell Bayer chemicals. If I sell X number of Bayer seeds, I get more people. Or if I sell Syngenta seed corn, NK, and I use Syngenta crops, I get more people. It's all funded, it's all based financial. But it doesn't matter to you guys. Our job is to get you to spread the right thing at the cheapest price you can. We're not, we don't care if you buy the food pond. Time of year, decal, whatever. We're just trying to educate you so that we make the right choice. And there's many, many choices out there. And as you see, here's the common list. You really don't see anything too new on it. So it'll apply. Corn herbicides, you get in a few non atrazine free mixes in here, corns, rays. Here's Sure Start, the Triple Flex. Sure Start is uh, Bayer's. Triple Flex is, is uh, Monsanto's, very similar product, but they're different. They're going to come out and they're going to tell you they're the same product. Well, they're not. They have the same modes of action, but they're not the same product. I mean, here's your 
picture is put in there because DuPont stopped selling that product like it's dangerous to your phone. It's called Well, so one thing else, what I try to tell farmers, we, when I was in the industry, we took care of our own people. Like if I sold to Patrick in this room, and you screwed something up or we screwed something up, I came out and I worked with you and we tried to figure out what was wrong. Now, the extension, we get to see all We see some classic. Who's corn out there? Well, there's Pioneer, DuPont, NK, Gover, Southern Avenue, Darsh, whatever. Look in your herbicide and your book. You open that book up to the center of the book, most of it has all of those numbers and all those terms of it, other than early picker, stay green, bad dry down. Our farmers will tell you what those are. When you go out to the far end of it, there's usually anywhere from three to five columns of herbicides. Okay? Come over here, so let's just say it's Pioneer 1395. XR, I'm not, this doesn't have this, I'm just using this example. You go across and you come over to the ALS chemistry, and you're just a seer of everything there. You're going to take 20 bushels of corn out of that yield if you spray it under bad conditions. That hybrid is not tolerated for ALS chemistry. Gross regulators of development rights of foods is one which is like basis and balance flex. So if you put that corn under stress, too hot, too cold, too wet, too dry, at any stage of its life, if you spray bare soil and that corn is two inches deep, then you have to it. No, no. That corn is going to come up, grow through that herbicide. It's going to metabolize that herbicide through its system, and that's when you get injured. It has to metabolize it. Even though it's underground, you think, I'm safe. No, no. Look at these last two winters we or springs we had. This last winter, or last spring, I thought it was the greatest year in the world. We were out planting corn by the 5th of April. It's 80, 90 degrees. I thought, man, it's great. And all of our corn planted by the 20th of April, most everybody did. I had beans in the ground by the uh, 28th of April. I had beans coming out of the ground before May 1st. I had chips. Not this year, the before. What happened after that? I went to make my cold wet. Now, since then, Corn is a tropical grass. 155, 186, it doesn't grow. Here we get 40s at night, 52 during the day, cold day. Now the chemistry is going through the system. Now you get in, you see purple, you see stunting. And if it's resistant to one of the things, so the more information you have on that, and even though you want to use one of these products, Accent Q should be on here, okay? Ground Q, which is the new one, Resolve Q. Even though it has a Q, it can still damage that family chemistry of, of plants if you spray it under stress. Too hot, too dry, too wet, too cold. So don't think the Q is a perfect safety. Pioneer, 33B51, I think the last year was out in about 2007 or 8. It's one of the race source hybrids from Pioneer. I find it so much. It didn't last long, I stayed in the middle of the issue. Okay, when DuPont bought Pioneer, they made all their DuPonts, all the Pioneer sales, <coughs> chemical sales. So if you bought 33B51 and you used DuPont chemistry, you got more rewards for us. Okay? If you put Accent or Steadfast APZ, which it was called, or Basis Gold over top of 33B51, under the slightest bit of So if you were a seed corn salesman and you were running a cell 
you're all the time here, man. <clears throat> I'm not a cow man. I know you play 33 D 51. I know. I sell you your chemicals. But I can't sell you a bag of seed. So I'm going to sell I'm going to say, hey, I got five bags of seed out for me. No one has done any stuff to pay for me on your form. Three weeks after China. And I'm going to put this dollar of seed out there aside. And in a year, guys, you come back and say, oh my God, your corn is fantastic. Your corn out in the middle of the time, you're like that mushroom. You see these things read the label, but they're not the same. Camping and camping eggs are not the same. So you think, I said one meeting, I said, what's the difference between camping and camping eggs? One guy said, raise his hand. I said, you use camping eggs. He said, yep. And camping eggs are just camping eggs. Strong. Did you realize there's two different modes of action? No, it's not. It's a great argument. Camping is classic.
after you look what's in there. And I had an instance where a guy tried to show up that door with a camera. And he said, I tried calling. I didn't answer the phone. I don't know why. So he called the neighbor. Hey, you see me such and such a father. What was the name of it? The neighbor said, Oh, hey, look at this thing. Well, the rate he gave him was twice what it should have been. He went out and he was real happy. He got some chemicals in the car. And he killed the father. Soybeans, a lot of soybeans programs are too fast for us right now with residual being put down either prior to emergence, prior to planning, or shortly after emergence. But more and more, the true Roundup, one cast Roundup spray is not there anymore. And in some of your costs, of different things, I mean, you can get a lot of money into the residuals of the soybeans, and everybody wants to spray soybeans, but they want to plant. Bag in the hands of the acre and they want to spray with a quarter round. And that's all that goes on. Well, it's not working out anymore, especially as far as the stuff that we want. PAS happens to come out with pig soil products, which are the PPO, very similar to Valor and Corby. It's a great burn down product and also has residual control. It can be managed for a mass quarter crop of virgins so we might shade that in the slug. Rotational crop options, six months. And here's another thing that you don't see so much anymore. Everybody understand what that means? OP stands for organic phosphate. So if you're going to mix, you're mix something like orange band in the tank, mix with this. If it's orange band or one of the generic orange band products, you're going to have problems because it's just going to react to the These are some of the pixel or products, sharpened. Okay, corn or no-till burn down has some residual UV rates. And what you're going to use in a no-till soil, you do not exceed that two hours straight or you won't enjoy really after. Warrant is a product for, for Monsanto. What it is is used for uh, post burns and soybeans with Roundup. It's putting Cinecor out there with the harness for residual. Grass control it will not fix these now. But with the roundup, you can fix it. You know, you can take it down. This, this, this provides some, some residual plant. Permanent floss, as I said, more and more stuff being mixed. Permanent floss has aerosol pyramid methyl, which is made out of some different, which is from the original permanent. Now they're putting the harmony product in there. And it improves, improves post transport. This is one of every week version. We got, a, we got a real arsenal now for wheat. We didn't have this before. So now you got a grass control in this product right here. Okay? We, the label, identify the grass predator. And if you have the wrong grass out there and you use the wrong product, it's not going to work. And make sure if you're going to use any of these on wheat, read the whole label to the end. Okay? I'll tell you why. This grass, the best grass is all these excellent products. Okay? Went out to the farm one day and he had, he had uh, down in Rome. I told him to spray it off spray. The cave tank makes off spray with night. They didn't want it too fast. So he talked to his dealer. The dealer went to the back of his office. We found this best grass is all You can tank this at the night. And they went out and sprayed it. Killed it. Cleaned up it. Now these rooms are beautiful. Beautiful pop. Did an excellent job. Well, what did he do? On the 10th of July, he went in and planted soybeans. There's a 36 month rotation for soybeans, and the rest of them have SPS soybeans. He did not plant SPS soybeans. That's 18 months. So he went in and he planted, and the only thing he was going to come back. Double crop soybeans. So he double crop, I'd say he had 10% of the same. So this is one of the things that you have to pay attention to. A lot of these products are excellent products, but there's a fit for each and every one of them. These are some new things that tank mixes. Axial and starring. And this one, this one I really like right here, because as I said, you want to get away from harmony, here's your choice. Starane is the product of choice for chickens. 
harming it on protocol or whatever. With this product, you don't need any harming protocol. No ALS. You got a growth regulator, you got scarring. Different mode of action completely. A little more money than harming. You can't harm any out of your vocabulary. Because we're creating the ALS If any of you would like to see the final results, we have a post we have a post several different products for the last two years, fall and spring, and this guy's still down in Maine now. And we've got a good handle on this. Some other stuff is coming around, some advantage screen, which is pursuit and glyphosate for Roundup Ready Alcohol. Just some type changes. We run it as bad as potatoes as anybody knows it. And power that has a heat lamp and an NHL formulation. Here's basic blend, which is resolved. This product right here, basis blend, is the same as the old basis. No safety. Now, if you're using this product with something like Jewel 2 Magnum, and have gas from California, that safety will help this product. But this is the old basis, and this is the property here. Careful with this product. So you have to read what, what your group product is. Reflex and glyphosate is the type star, and naloxone. Now we don't have any of Okay. It does a better job of mixing with the moxone had a hard time mixing with hard water. You know you have hard water and you're going to use the moxone, but it certainly pays you to use something like uh, eight pounds being phased out. And you see this here four points? So that's pretty much the same as your own great good formulation sports run. Okay. It's still good for Thank you. 
this picture. You have dogs and animals, and you have them used for a few years, they're all in there. The parachute here in the back, and if they pass out, you get them.